Club. Here we are, the first stop of the respiratory system, the nose. I can't wait to visit the entire respiratory system of Michael. Nixon, how many parts are there in total? Good question, Bobo. Our respiratory system consists of many different parts, such as the nose, mouth, throat, trachea, bronchi, and finally the lungs. Ribs and diaphragm are also the important bones and muscles that help us breathe. We will learn everything along the journey. Seems like there is a long journey ahead of us before reaching the lungs. Ew, yuck! Why is it so slimy here at the nose? The slime is sticking to my feet. No, Bobo. Those are mucus secreted by the nose. The mucus warms up and moistens the incoming air and also captures dust and germs that could irritate our lungs. That's awesome! Look over there, Nixon. How about those hair there? I did not know that there is hair inside our nose. Good observation, Bobo. The hair in our nose is called cilia. They move in a wave-like motion to trap and filter large particles like dirt or pollen and help move milkers out of the airways. So Bobo, can you guess how can we get rid of the milkers and the trapped particles? Of course I can, Nixon. We sneeze them out. The speed of the particles in our sneeze can get up to 100 miles per hour. How cool is that? That's pretty cool, Bobo. Now, let's get to the next part of Michael's respiratory system. After going through the throat, we are now at the trachea. Hold on a second. What are those cool looking rings on Michael's trachea? It looks kind of like a water slide. The trachea is a tube that connects our throat and lungs, allowing air to enter and leave the lungs. The rings are made of cartilage, which provides structural support for the trachea while allowing it to move and flex during breathing. Look, Nixon! We're nearly at the end of the trachea. Hurry up! Oh no, Nixon! There are two paths in front of us. Which way should we go? Good question, Bobo. Every human has two lungs, a left lung and a right lung. The trachea branches out into two slightly smaller tubes called the main bronchi. Each main bronchus connects to one of the lungs. Uh, so, so which one should I pick then? Eeny miny mo, chipster, can you help me pick the way? Great choice, Chipster. Okay, let's go to the left lung. Great choice, Chipster. Okay, let's go to the right lung. Hey, Bobo, wait for me. You'll get lost in the lung very easily. <sighs> Wee hee! We are finally here at Michael's lung. Gosh! The lung looks like a maze to me with so many different paths. Do you have a map of the lung? Let's ask Michael's lung directly to guide our way. Hello, Nixon and Bobo. I am Lucy the Lungs. Are you guys lost? We are lost. Can you give us a quick tour of the lung so we can help Michael find out which part of his lungs went wrong? Absolutely, Bobo. After air makes its way through the nose, trachea, and the main bronchi, it finally arrives here in the lung! From the outside, the lungs are pink and a bit squishy. Inside the lung, the main bronchi branch out extensively into smaller bronchi, like a big tree. The tiniest tubes are called the bronchioles, and they are as thick as a hair. Can you guess how many bronchioles are there in the lung? Close! Try again! You are correct! At the tip of each bronchiole, it connects to a tiny air sac called alveoli. Did you know that there are more than 480 million alveoli in our lungs? And if we stretch them out, 
it would cover an entire tennis court. Isn't that amazing? Whoa! Thanks for your explanation, Lucy. Let us look around you and see if there's any problem. Look, Bobo! That part of the bronchus looks very red and swollen. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.